You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. Hello guys, welcome back. More from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, this is just something you should do when you get to the Skelliger Isles, but as soon as you get there, um, because basically you meet this guy and he's going to take you off in his ship to the Skelliger Isles. You have to, unfortunately, uh, pay him as he says you've got any coin, and it costs you a thousand coins. That's quite a lot if you've uh, got to this point in the game quite early, um, but don't worry about it, okay? Pay the guy and I'll show you exactly what you need to do um, when you get to the Skelliger Isles. Okay, first of all, just showing you this, this beautiful shot. I wanted to just put it in the video because it looks incredible. That's you in the ship just leaving, heading towards the sunset there. Very nice. As always, this game is beautiful to look at. Um, so after a short while, your ship will be boarded by uh, pirates and you have to fight them. But while you're doing this, of course, nobody is driving the boat. Uh, and the inevitable happens. Uh, the Skelliger Isles, of course, are a very rocky, rocky bunch of islands. And uh, yeah, disaster. A bit of a titanic moment here. All those swap a mountain for an iceberg. And uh, there you go. Uh, Geralt is knocked out. Um, he's washed up on the shore. Uh, and the boat remains. And a couple of other boats are all strewn around him. Um, and there is plenty of loot. Listen, the best thing. I spent probably about 10-15 minutes just going around this location. Picking up so much loot. There is literally so much to pick up. So please spend the time and get uh, as much as you can. Um, and including actually there's a place of power just over here which is all, always worth getting it gives you another ability point to use uh, for your character to level up um, but most of all you see this uh, this is the ship uh, that, that you need to spot you saw the the front of the ship there very distinctive front come to this ship and just come around the back of it the back side of the ship here and there is the captain who you paid the thousand coins to loot him and you get your money back simple as that you get your thousand coins so you might have spent a lot of money you didn't have much but you'll get it all back um, and one good thing you can do after this another the second thing I recommend you do when you get to Skelliger note um, when you look at the map you haven't really got many markers there aren't any more any uh, fast travel points you've got a couple you've got sort of one on each major island uh, and a couple on the on the bigger island here uh, but there's not a hell of a lot. Now what you should do next is uh, follow uh, this path that I'm showing you. If you've got the, the, the destination Skellige, which says go to the port near Kaya Trolder, I think it is. Just follow the path um, that it takes you on past this marker, the crossroads, so you've unlocked another one. Uh, but after a while you follow the track, follow the dotted line on the mini-map at the top right there. Uh, yep, past this guy. And uh, what you'll find, if I just get round to it, come on, hurry up, girl. Get a move on. Yes, move it. Come on. Okay, I got stuck. I was looking at uh, what the wolves were, I think. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, you see there's a bunch of guys uh, straight ahead here on the right-hand side. Now, as you can see on the mini-map, there's actually a merchant there. Uh, if you get off your horse and go and have a word with him, uh, these guys look pretty cool. They all speak with Irish accents, but they've got sort of Viking costumes. Very strange. Speak to this merchant right here, uh, and what he will have in his inventory is uh, some maps you can buy. Now the maps on the Skelliger Island will unlock uh, more fast travel points. You see he's got six available here. Um, so best thing to do is just buy them all. So as you can see it says if you read this guidebook it will unlock certain fast travel points in Skelliger and there are six of these things so just snap them all up. They are a couple of hundred coins each uh, but again you just got your thousand coins back so if you hadn't found it it's worth spending it anyway. Um, and come in, read them all very quickly, and uh, if you get through them, uh, as I'll show you in a second, read them all, and it tells you a little bit about the island, and of course, by telling you about the island, it magically makes some map markers up here. Um, so you see there on the left-hand side, new marker, Larvik, Marlin Coast. Uh, I counted, actually, I think it was nine new markers appeared after I'd unlocked these six. So opening a map doesn't just get you one marker, it get, maybe get you one or two, uh, maybe even three, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's nine of these things, well worth doing, and uh, it gets you obviously from point to point on the map a lot quicker. Considering this map, is, there's a lot of hills and a lot of uh, climbing to do. There's a certain paths you you know you need to get to, and it's quite hard to maneuver around. Unlike some of the open areas of the uh, the Valen or Novigrad maps, as you can see now, uh, there's a few more flags, a few more markers have appeared on the map. Guys, okay, it was just a quick couple of things I reckon you should do when you first get to Skelliger. Uh, if you haven't got those coins, go back. I'm sure they'll still be there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and uh, remember to subscribe if you're new. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks. Bye.